I'm the Math Lobster. We're going to solve a problem involving fractions. Four sisters build a patio, and they, but they didn't all build the same amount. Some were, had worked very hard and longer, and some worked less hard, and some, of course, were younger and some were older. So they did different amounts on this, different amounts of work. Karen built one quarter, Sophie one half of the patio, Kate one eighth. We don't know how much Sylvia did, but she finished the rest. So, before we could kind of combine these to find out how they, uh, what they did, we have to put them into common denominators. Well, 8 is a multiple of 2 and 4, so we can multiply both of these fractions to have 8 as the denominator. What would we have to multiply 4 by? 2. So we have to multiply by 2 over 2, which is a form of 1, to get an equivalent fraction. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Sophie will have to change from 1 half to 2. We have to multiply by 2 by to get 8. 4. So we have to multiply by 4 over 4. 4 times 1 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. And of course, 1 8 equals 1 8. How much have they built so, so far? Well, we can make this line into eighths, 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 1 half, which is 4 8, 5 8, Six eighths, seven eighths, and the whole thing, which is eight eighths, or one whole patio. So, Karen built two eighths. Sophie built one half, or four eighths more. One, two, three, four. So we go to six eighths. Kate built one eighth, one plus. 1 eighth plus 6 eighths is 7 eighths. How much did Sylvia build? Well, you can see it's this portion right here. You may already know. What we can do is add these together. 2 plus 4 plus 1, which is 6 and 1 is 7 eighths. Subtract it from 1, which is 8 eighths. And you see that Sylvia built one-eighth of the patio. Or you could just look at this graph and you can see what's missing is between seven-eighths and one, which is one-eighth. I hope all you young people understand when you want to learn math, you listen to the Math Lobster.